So we can no longer pretend this isn't happening. You know, we can't bury our head in the sand and just think life is just a little bump in the road. Things are a little bit, a little bit scary, but we'll be okay. No, look, Jesus is coming very, very soon to rapture the church. Right now, it's all ramping up. It's in our face. It's all the signs that Jesus told us to look for. What is going on with the earthquakes and the volcanoes and the floods and the droughts and the bank and the financial collapse? Government officials talking about UFOs and aliens. I think many people feel like something really big is about to happen. I'm telling you what that is. It's the rapture of the church. We were told we would know the season and we are, we all know it. We're living in the season. And things now are getting crazier by the day, every single day. It looks like this year is gonna be the year. We see that the conditions are right. We need to begin looking up. And Jesus told us that when you begin to see these things come to pass, look up for your redemption draw nigh. And what are these things? Rumors of wars are off the chart right now. We are at the edge of oblivion of a nuclear war right now. Okay, so just saying, hang in there for we are almost finished. I believe personally, it's all about to kick off. Christ Jesus, I know he will not leave his bride here for much longer because we're in the way. We are in the way of the great tribulation beginning and the antichrist coming on the world stage. We're on borrowed time. And that borrowed time is running out. I just know it is. I just know it is. It's all about to go down. I, I have such a powerful feeling. Well, this is like a quiet before the storm, I'm telling you. I, I just know, I just know. We cannot possibly be here for much longer. I think we've tops, tops two weeks. That's how I feel. Not according to the flesh, according to the spirit. That's how I feel. Maximum of two weeks, minimum of any any time seconds. That's how I feel. So this could be my last video. I'm not saying it is, but it could be. That's how close I think Christ is for me to say that. But now it's, everything is just off the charts. My name is Sean. This is just a guy talking about Jesus and getting ready for the rapture that's about to occur. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen some of the things that are going on lately in the news but goodness gracious i'm trying to tell you plain and simple today if you don't know who jesus is and you're not saved things are going to be pretty bad here on earth there is a tribulation coming there is a huge war coming there's anarchy and lawlessness everywhere that you look in the world look at what you're talking about another train derailment the other day I stopped keeping count. I'm not counting them anymore. It's ridiculous. So that's happening, guys. I mean, it's terrible, but it puts a smile on my face because my king draws near. There's a pre-tribulation rapture coming. That's what I believe in. The Greek word, uh, harpazo, is um, to be caught up, to be snatched away, I believe. You don't have much time left, and he's coming back. What are you going to do about it? Worry about what you're doing where you are with jesus do you know him do you really believe that he's coming do you really believe that he's coming back soon the truth is if you want to just cut to the chase like i like to do the, the answer is jesus so you could skip all the other stuff things that you hear in your head things that other people say things that you see on the television or movies or books that you've read in the past there's only one person that matters that's jesus there's only one book that matters that's the Bible, that's his word. Listen to what I'm saying. The message is simple. Choose Jesus now and choose him today before it's too late. I do feel in my heart of hearts that the rapture is definitely getting ready to happen. I'm just telling you what I'm sensing. I really, I really don't feel that we're gonna be here long. I, I really don't. It's just too much happening right here and we are not, this is not our home. And I am really, 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 really feeling that we're going to be gone soon. 
You don't have to be left behind here. The only way to be saved is through the blood of Jesus, his death, burial, and resurrection. It is faith. It is grace. Something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve. Through faith, which is believing in Christ alone, period, for all of your sins. He took care of it at the cross through the shedding of his blood. Now, if you decide that you don't want to take this gift of grace and accept his death, burial, and resurrection, that's on you. Because you are going to be left here to face some of the most horrific hell on earth times ever that have never been seen to man before. So now if that's the only way you can be left behind. And that is your choice. You can accept the gift of grace through believing in what Christ did at the cross for all of your sins, past, present, and future, or you don't have to, or you don't. Totally up to you.